What is up everybody? Happy Thursday, September 27th, 2018. I went to an early meeting today at 6.30 a.m. Came home, ate breakfast, took a nap, woke up from my nap, ate lunch, took another nap, went to the mall um, to work on my merchandise and um, the dude that helps me there wasn't there. And so I came home and now I am just vegging out on the sofa about to watch and catch up on Survivor and um, a bunch of other TV shows that I haven't been able to watch. No work today, I'm off for the day. I am gonna head to my men's meeting tonight. I'm gonna have a snack before I do that. Uh, probably just like a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, but hopefully I can vlog more because I have a minute of um, recording my day today. So I will talk to you guys on the next clip. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're having a great day. What up, everybody? Went to my second meeting of the day. Had a good one. I like it because we talk, we read from the big book and we talk about it. And it was a good time. And... Just about to finish dinner and um, watch a little bit of television and I will talk to you guys for the end of vlog talk. What is up everybody? It is your boy Jay. This is the end of vlog talk. It is day 58 of sobriety and let's talk about what happened today. So I started off my day with a meeting in the morning um, and it was cool, uh, but it was at 6.30 in the morning, so getting up was a little tough, but after uh, going through the meeting, I felt really good. Uh, we talked about what were your motives to drink, and um, how are you being of service um, since uh, starting the program? And I think that for me, uh, being of service is telling my story. And I've been sharing a lot in the past couple of weeks, and I'm very happy about that. And um, I'm reaching out to a lot of the newcomers who who come to the meetings and giving them my phone number and um, just letting them know that they're not alone. That this is a this is not just a I process; it's a we process, and that um, to trust in a higher power to get us through. The steps and the traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous so yeah that was cool um, when we were asked to speak about our motives of drinking uh, I pretty much had any reason to drink um, if I was having a good day a bad day um, an uneventful day I would make a reason or an excuse to to have a drink and um, it would be those days where I would go to work and patiently wait until it was 5 o'clock so I could drive home, speed home, and pour my first drink of the day. And um, again, to celebrate uh, something that happened at work or to celebrate something bad that happened at work or to find any reason to have a drink was my motive to drink and um i did that a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot uh, especially when i was uh <clears throat> live on my live streams and uh i look back at those live streams and i'm like bruh not the best way to spend your nights <laughs> um so it was cool to uh, share that and to hear that I wasn't the only one that had the same reason or motive for for drinking. And um, I'm glad to say that it is day 58 and I am still sober and have not opened a drink since August 1st. So two more days and then day 60 will be here and I can celebrate that milestone by not drinking and staying sober and being of service to my uh, fellowship of fellow alcoholics. So that was cool. Um, after that, I had a pretty uneventful day, worked on some videos, and uh, went to my second meeting, which is a, a meeting where we read through the book, the big book. And um, it was a pretty intimate meeting. I was like the newest, I was considered the newcomer of, 
I was considered the newcomer of the meeting, even though I go every week. Um, ever since, yeah, ever since I first started, I've been going every single week. So um, it was nice to hear what people who have gone through the twelve, the full 12 steps had to say about tonight's reading. And it was very reassuring because I'm at a point, um, I'm on step four and it's making a moral inventory of the things that I've done in the past that may have caused harm to other people or have caused resentment and I need to start writing it down. Um, and that's one of my homework assignments from my sponsor. And um, I don't have to start writing it right away, but I need to start making a list in my mind and start putting it down on paper. And um, I think I said this uh, on the last vlog that I'm scared of it. And um, a lot of those who've gone through it say that they also had fear of step four, but once they got through it, it felt so much better. So I'm looking forward to that part of it. But the only way to get to the good part is to go through the steps. So I'm going to, I'm really going to take my time on step four, step four and five in particular, just because I want to get it right. And I want to not be perfect, but just get it right to the point where I feel satisfied. So that's something I got from tonight's meeting. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, I'm really excited for October. Hopefully you guys, uh, watch my main channel, NorCal Slack Guy. October is a big month for me. And, um, on Sunday, September 20, September 30th, I'll be releasing a video that will kind of explain what to look for um in october on my main channel so that's pretty exciting uh in a couple weeks i will be heading to vegas with mom and we are going to be attending g2e for the first time and i'm super super excited because a bunch of my brothers are going to be there and i'm going to be able to hang out with some folks um and actually meet some folks i've never met before and i'm really looking f forward to going to vegas sober and being in Vegas sober and staying sober through my, throughout my whole trip um, because it is Sin City and um, it's going to be it's going to be fun and it's going to be a great time but temptation, temptation is going to be around me so I'll have to be on my best behavior I've already mapped out where my meetings are and what time I need to go to them so uh, whenever it comes time to, for me to go to meetings and I'm doing something, I have to make time to make sure I make it to my meetings because I am not going to lose out on right now 58 days of sobriety. By the time it's time to go with G2E, it's going to be 60 something days and I am not going to restart this program. I'm not going to relapse again and I am going to make it through. So again, I am excited to go to Vegas because... Vegas is like one of my favorite places to go to, but to experience Vegas sober, oh, I can't wait. I'm actually excited about that. I'm excited for the challenge, and um, this is what life is going to be like for the rest of my life, and I have to accept that, and um, what a great way to be around friends who support me and who will know and people who I know will have my back while I'm there. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to be chasing jackpots. And hopefully I'll have some great videos to show you guys. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys today for Thursday, September 27th. Let's end the vlog the way we usually do. Oh, before we end the vlog, just wanted to say hope you're having a great week so far. Tomorrow is Friday. And um, for those of you who don't work Friday, congratulations that it's the weekend for you. And if you're going to be hitting up the casino, best of luck on the casino floor. Hope you win big. Okay, now let's end the vlog. So remember, you guys, be confident, be honest, be humble, and most importantly, be... Ugh.
Oh my gosh, I cannot get this ending right. Okay guys, so let's end the vlog how we usually do. Remember to be confident, be honest, be humble, and most importantly, be well. Take care my brother and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Peace.